Hi everybody, welcome back. I hope everyone is being good and behaving. Um, We're back in the wormery today and this is the end. This is the final video of actually checking the bins of this carbon experiment. As you can see, um, we are pretty much done in this cardboard box and the leaves, uh, the leaf, leaves, the leaf bin. Where has my English gone? Um, has um, all but sort of finished. There's a few clumps in here. Um, but yeah, that's it really. I've been drying these guys out for the last 10 days. I haven't fed them anything. I wanted the media to sort of like um, be easy for me to take them out. Let us do one thing and just go through them one by one and see what we're going to do. I'm such a donut, I literally recorded like, well, I spoke for about five minutes and then I realized that the camera was not recording. Oh my God. <laughs> um, if you feel sorry for me, hit the subscribe button. Um, ring that notification bell, hit the like button, you know what to do, show your boy some love. Um, I was just saying that this cardboard bin has really surprised a lot of people, I think. A lot of people thought the leaf bin would have done well, uh, better. Um, you can see these little bits of um, unbroken down cardboard, which I think is just, um, they're either coated with something or they've got like a glue on them that the worms didn't like. They feel a little bit waxy, to be honest. So I don't know where they're from, but that's all good. The castings are dry now, dryish. I mean, there's still a good moisture to them, but I've been letting these dry now for about uh, two weeks. I haven't fed them and they're really fluffy. Really, really fluffy. Yeah, so I am surprised, you know, there's a decent amount of castings. This bin was filled to this line here, which is roughly, I would say, half waypoint um, by volume of, of just shredded cardboard. And that's a decent amount of castings. The worms are good, they're big, uh, they did some of them have lost some size because obviously they haven't been watered or fed in in over a week and um no but they're good the ac's been on we haven't had any issues with the ac's tripping like we did a couple of weeks ago and yeah that's a decent amount of castings when i send this off to be tested they wanted roughly around this much of the of the of the um sample size which in my opinion is a, is quite a lot but i mean that's a decent amount of castings from you know a few straps of cardboard it's not bad i do hope they give me the sample uh the samples back because i do want to um try them i want to try a side by side between this and the other bin and see who actually performs better in real life as well so it's one thing to have all of the the data but then it's another thing to actually see it in practice so maybe that's a a good <clears throat> that maybe that'd be a good visual uh, video for us as well um, as a follow-up for, for this experiment but yeah I'm really happy with that I'm gonna do a light separation for these guys I am really happy with this bin I'm really happy with how it performed and if you guys remember if you've been watching all along this series um, we had all of the worms and I mean all of the worms escape this and make their way into the into the other bin um, because they were drying out there was no cover on this but yeah, the moisture level is great in this. Even though it hasn't been watered for over a week, it's held its moisture really well. It's really fluffy. The color is lighter, noticeably lighter than the other one. But yeah, this is a good bunch of castings. I don't know how diverse it's gonna be because it only literally had um, a cup full of coffee grinds um, when we set it up and it had chow as its food source. So let's see, maybe the chow will will give all the magnesium, potassium, phosphorus, all that stuff that needed that was needed. And obviously whatever is excreted, all of the excretions from the worms as they produce these castings, if they make a difference. Right, let's get the next bin. So this tub I've left covered. Um, I didn't want it to dry out because there wasn't as much bedding in here. I didn't want them to, to be 
in distress. Some of these stems from the from the leaves. Bits of dried cardboard that they ate through. So that was probably my, the the newspaper was the only carbon really that these guys had other than the leaf um, mold or dried. It wasn't even leaf mold, so dried leaves um, that were sitting around. Some dryness around the outside. Actually, that's newspaper. That's not even a leaf. But yeah, these castings are also done. Hey. The worms look good. I have to say, the worms have been smaller, generally smaller, in this system than the other. The, the worms were definitely larger in the cardboard only bin. So, I don't know what that says, but I think it's because I've always found that um, worm chow made them fat in a regular system that has a little bit of everything but yeah I mean they're getting bigger now but it just it did take longer for this system to break down as well but yeah this is it this is done the colour of this is amazing and if you guys remember we had issues with smells not really issues but there, there was a certain point as this was breaking down there was a there was a mold smell coming from it, but it was just the leaves decomposing, uh, which is natural, I guess. So, yeah. But we've got these little dry bits of newspaper around the edges, which is fine. It doesn't matter. I'll sift all that out when I'm done. But again, it didn't look like it was going to be as much. I didn't think I was going to get as many castings as this because when it was wet it was really sort of like compacted and and it wasn't a lot in volume it's still less it's still less than the cardboard box this guy just hanging out in between there so there's still leaves breaking down in this system but it's fine i'm done with this now it's been it's been a few months i think that's um i think that is long enough whoever voted for i will try and check back so whoever voted for for the um the cardboard win i don't know what prize we'll sort, sort it out anyway so and the time frame as well so we'll go back and go, get all that detail get all those details and try and put i'll put it as a um, text here but yeah that's it that's the end of this not the series because obviously we're going to do the test and get the test results back but that's the end of these bins I am going to take my time now and um, I've got quite a lot of stuff to do if you notice why I haven't been online um, I haven't posted as many videos over the past couple of weeks purely because just it's been crazy even though summer usually means that we slow down and have more time I have had none of that it's been all systems go for the last couple of weeks so I will take my time today and do a light separation method. Send, um, as with the cardboard, I'm going to let these sit for three weeks, let the cocoons hatch, um, let the babies sort of like get to a little bit size, and then I'll bait them out as well. But I am going to, con I am going to transfer the castings into smaller containers and reset these um, with the worms. Brilliant. Guys, thank you so much for watching again. Um, please subscribe, hit that like button, ring the notification bell, you know what to do. And check back. Please leave your comments down below, and I'll see you soon. Big love as always.